On August 28, 2006, in Corona, California, 22-year-old Marvin Gabriel, and 28-year-old Milton Chavez, met Brooke Rotiers while drinking after work at the High Grove Bar. Rotiers, an ex-prostitute, led the day laborers to believe she would have sex for money and had them follow her and her friend, Franchoon Epps, back to the National Inn Motel, where Rotiers lived with 34-year-old Omar Hutchinson, a small-time drug dealer. Once inside the motel room, Epps pulled a gun and held it on the victims while Rotiers and Hutchinson stripped them and stole their money and valuables. Known as Crazy, Rotiers, mother of four, who is six feet tall and weighed 200 pounds, beat both men, then bound them with anything she could get her hands on. The two construction workers were then hogtied with cords around their necks to their hands, which were behind their backs and to their ankles. Panties and other cloth items were stuffed in their mouths, that were covered with duct tape. While the two defenseless men suffocated to death with plastic bags over their heads, Rotiers and friends were enjoying some drugs. Later the victims' bodies were wrapped in bed sheets and loaded into the trunk of a car that Rotiers drove to Gavilan Hills, a remote area near Lake Matthews, and abandoned on a dirt road. The car and the men's remains were found the next day by a resident. Police were called to the scene and their investigation led them to the National Inn, where they would find testimonies that saw the two Hispanic men in Rotier's room. There, investigators recovered DNA from items such duct tape, that later was matched to items found with the dead bodies. The DNA belonged to Rotier's. All three defendants were linked to the brutal killings. Omar Hutchinson and Franjun Epps were convicted and sentenced to life in prison. On June 23, 2010, Rotiers was convicted of two counts of first-degree murder in the slayings of 22-year-old Marvin Gabriel and 28-year-old Milton Chavez. With the special circumstance that the murders were committed during the course of a robbery, jurors decided to apply the death penalty in this case. On October 22, 2010, Brooke Marie Rotiers was sentenced to death. 